One of the nice tools in Tina is the ohmmeter. We're going to take a look at that today. We're going to start off with just a couple of resistors over here. So I've got a 1.59K and I'm going to put that in series with a 1K resistor. Obviously this will work out to 2.59K. To verify that, we're going to come over into the meters and grab the ohmmeter. And I'll just wire this in. Now I do have just two resistors, but this of course could be a much more complicated series parallel network. So we're going to come up to the analysis and you can see the sum is a we expect 2.59 K ohms. Pretty nice. Um, one thing to be aware of is that like in a real lab, ohmmeters cannot be used on powered circuits. Essentially ohmmeters work by sending out a small current. This produces a voltage and we can calibrate that voltage to a resistance value. So if you have a circuit with a, a DC power source or an AC signal in it, you can't use an ohmmeter on it and get uh, accurate results. Um, this particular ohmmeter is really an impedance meter. It will also let you see AC impedance, meaning a vector combination of resistance and reactance. So I'm going to get rid of the resistor here and throw in a capacitor. Just wire this in. Oops. Come on. And we're going to change this to 100 nanofarads. Okay. Coming back to the meter, uh, we have this set for uh, 1 kilohertz. So this is going to throw in a 1 kilohertz signal. There will be a reactance with the capacitor. And at 1 kilohertz, this will work out to 1.59K ohms. That's um, a minus J value, of course. So we can imagine this resistance as being a horizontal component of 1.59K and the capacitor as being a reactance vertical component 1.59K. So the vector sum of that will be sitting out here at a negative 45 degree angle, uh, a magnitude of about two and a quarter K ohms. So we will run this again. This time we're looking at the AC analysis. And you can see that we have our two and a quarter K ohms as expected. Okay. Now, if you went in, instead of just using this um, calculate nodal voltages, this is kind of curious, right? Um, you would see all these voltages and currents, but this is, as I was indicating before, this thing is actually generating uh, a signal and then producing a result out here, a current voltage characteristic, which is then calculated. So these aren't real in the sense um, that it's somehow creating voltage or current, these resistors and capacitors. Coming back to here, if you um, just click on here, click on the meter itself, um, not only do you get the magnitude, you also get the angle. You see it in uh, complex form, right, real and imaginary. We have the admittance value, complex admittance, everything you need right there. So we could have a fairly complicated circuit with resistors, capacitors, inductors, uh, series parallel, whatever, and we can use this to determine the value. Very handy.